All right, so this could be a really quick video. Um, I should be able to just walk through this character. I've done it once, and then the second time I didn't walk through it. So it depends on whether it's going to miss or not. So um, I've already finished the dungeon. It's not that long once you get all the items the first run. Um, you can actually get to the boss in like five minutes. And then the boss, once you start to kind of figure him out, he's not that difficult. Um, the second form is a pain in the butt, and if you get off pattern, you're dead. But for the most part, if you save beforehand, you'll be fine. It didn't take me that long. I uh, was really surprised by that. So this is a gray coral. I'm going to take out one of these guys, and then I'm going to focus everything on that guy back there. So we're going to go ahead and try a cross slash to see what we get here. And I'm going to have somebody ready... To bring back our character because that's his big threat is he can yeah he can kill you like that um so we're not going to really worry about healing we're just going to keep hitting him until he dies he also hits pretty hard if you're lucky and he doesn't do it that's awesome um I don't know. I'm just going to keep hitting him until he dies. Maybe you'll get to see me get a great tail. I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, right. So he's not that hard. Uh, but he drops the gray tail. So this is where um, we are in... Where is this? We're in the Devil's Road. You actually have to go all the way through Devil's Road and get back to the save point and then get back to the first room on the other side. Once you do that, um, you can just kind of run in this top area and you'll find them. So until next time, adios amigos. Why are you...